Hello guys, so today I'm back with an update on what's happening at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And in today's video, the wife of the late prophet T.B. Joshua denies detaining or deporting any church member. So let's dive in. So as you all already know, the late prophet T.B. Joshua died on the 5th of June this year. And since then, the church has been in a state of chaos. And all this is because of who is going to lead the church next and who shouldn't, who is qualified and who isn't qualified. So according to the news update on Saturday Sun, some top prophets in the church had expected that the mantle of leadership would be handed over to the prophet Rasin Buoso a Senegalese and deputy to the late prophet T.B. Joshua. So this prophet Buiso, alongside prophets Joseph David from Nigeria and Christopher Dennis Tonge from the United Kingdom, mostly stood in for T.B. Joshua on days he wasn't available. So these powerful and influential aides had allegedly staged a coup in the church, temporarily seizing power, making themselves heirs to the estates of the renowned late prophet against the legitimate interests of his widow and three children. So while in the saddle, a series of allegations were made against the top eights, chiefly the prayer mountain of the church at Agodo Ewe, designed only for prayers, was said to have been gradually turned into a heaven for worldly lifestyle, a thing that was not in practice when T.B. Joshua was alive. The aides were also alleged to have taken over the church strong room and looted the vaults with reckless abandon. Also, none of T.B. Joshua's family members were private to all monies collected from partners all over the world during and after his burial. The aides were equally alleged to have opened another global network account without the church or Joshua's family knowing. However, in a sudden twist of faith, the succession tussle was laid to rest as the headship of the vast ministry has been legally thrust on the widow. Following the ruling of Justice Tijani Regium of the Federal High Court, Lagos, that ordered her reappointment as a trustee of the church in line with its constitution, which prescribes a minimum of three trustees for the church, Evelyn has now taken over the reins of affairs at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. But then it appears the court judgment didn't go down well with some people and it ignited a crisis of confidence currently rocking the church. So after all this power tussle in the church and, you know, the things that have been going on due to no particular leadership or organization. But Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, however, made it known to the Saturday Sun that there was neither crisis nor leadership vacuum in the church. Speaking through Barrister James Akihe, the church's head of legal department, she said, there is no leadership crisis in the church. The Synagogue Church of All Nations is a registered association with the Board of Trustees, and every association is administered through its Board of Trustees. The church's board of trustees, in its own wisdom, chose me as the new leader of the church. There is no dispute regarding the leadership of the ministry, and that has been settled. According to her, the church is obviously going through a new phase of experience in its life, which warranted its prolonged shutdown that has not been pleasant to some members. Mrs. Evelyn Joshua also reacted to an allegation about 17 foreign prophets and evangelists of the church um, who were initially detained and later deported to their countries of origin on her instruction. 
Those affected include Annette Easton from the United Kingdom, Catherine Ann from the United Kingdom, Ruth Christina Tonge from the United Kingdom, Christopher Dennis Tonge from the United Kingdom, Sinwa Lee from South Africa, Cindy Elizabeth Wijaja from Indonesia, Eliz Elizabeth Botilna from Greece, Angelique Niwa Wintari from Holland, and Angela Patricia Quintero from Colombia. According to her, there was no basis for that. To say that the church instigated the deportation of foreigners is very unfortunate. In fact, we are highly disappointed in a certain media platform that reported that falsehood. It's a blatant lie against the church and even against the Federal Ministry of Interior, under whose purveyor the, ch the issue of immigration falls. The purveyor of this falsehood didn't even consider the diplomatic implications of such falsehood. It defies logic that some British citizens would be detained and later deported from Nigeria without the knowledge of the British High Commission. There are standard procedures of deporting any foreign citizen and the church as a body doesn't have any power of sort, she stated. Nevertheless, the widow noted that since her husband's death, the behavior of some disciples allegedly led, led by two Britons and two Nigerians has become a matter of serious concern to the leadership of the church. This, she said, led to the elders and the new board of trustees to call for a comprehensive audit of the church finances. Save for some critical issues, some critical assets not yet manipulated. While this was going on, some of the disciples have been asked to proceed on vacation, at least in the interim for proper management and maintenance of discipline. Although some disciples are scared that they might lose their job whenever the church completes its reorganization and is ready to recommence service. And some have the fear that because the late prophet's wife, Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, was completely in the dark about church activities, she might not be able to have uh, a successful leadership of the church. Um, they, they think she might have a tough time running the affairs of the ministry. And expectedly, she's already dealing with a number of issues including conspiracy and intimidation from a group of people who were supposed to provide support and assistance at a time she needed them most. So that's it for today, guys. Um, what we've been hearing about detainment and deportation uh, has turned out to be an allegation. And yes, it looks like... Um, Mrs. Evelyn Joshua is starting off, you know, in a rough way, but we all hope that in time she would readjust to this current condition and she will be tested in this fire of leadership and turn out wonderful and maybe a better leader than anyone ever expected from her. So thank you for watching our video today. Um, make sure to subscribe in order to get more videos like this. Bye.